expressed to my wife, I feel irritated. And I couldn't pinpoint Hi, why. is this Michael? Hi, Michael. This is Sonia McCullum from The Marriage Menders. How are you? So we would probably say, have us leave the Sunday the 13th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that that's any time. Yeah, it doesn't matter what time on Sunday. I woke up. I woke up and just in a bad, bad place. I had some bad dreams. And because I usually wake up around six o'clock, mm -hmm. of course I woke up later, which is cool. Mm -hmm. But just my system, my routine was off. Mm -hmm. And then it was everything was just nitpicky at me, just like a, it's like a sore that you have. You keep on touching it. Mm -hmm. It just irritated me. Your pancakes weren't coming out too well. <laughs> you know, the kids, they were doing their stuff. You know, it wasn't nothing major, but just... I think I needed some more attention from you. Mm -hmm. And you had to take care of your biz on the phone with mom and the people and that kind of stuff. But I think the irritation started out from just waking up. So I think that's where it came from. I can see that. I can see that. It just kind of snowballed. Working out did help. That 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 took the edge off. So I'm feeling a little bit better. Good. Talk. I'm Derek and I'm Sonia. Thank you for watching. Today's episode is entitled Three Reasons Why Men Don't Cry. Three Reasons Why Men Don't Cry. That kind of rhymes. So can we talk? Can we talk?
There are three reasons why men don't express their feelings. Do you want to know? So can we talk? I think everyone wants to know. Mm -hmm. That's one of the biggest conversations in most homes. Mm -hmm. My man does not express his emotions. Oh, I can't tell you how many times we've heard that. He don't talk. Mm -mm -mm. He grunts. Mm -hmm. He walks away. Mm -hmm. I ask him how he feels. Mm -hmm. And he says, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I'm all right. I might. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Why are you asking me that? Mm -hmm. What's your problem? Mm -hmm. And so you we, used to grunt. I moaned. Yeah, you did. I moaned. That's that's true. I didn't grunt. I moaned. You moaned. Because it was hurting. Mm -hmm. That question hurt. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to to at least try to go a little bit deeper into why why do men have a hard time expressing their emotions. So there are three reasons. The first one is that they were not taught how to emote. Okay, so socially speaking, if you play back in your memory, either being a little girl or being a little boy, or having a little girl and having a little boy, if a little girl is crying, they're usually asked, what's wrong? And then they get an opportunity to say, I fell and hurt my knee, he hit me, I lost my pocketbook. We get to say what it is, right? I did lose my pocketbook when I was four. And you cried just like that. I did, right? Because we're asked, what's wrong? So when a little boy is, is crying and he comes around adults, they go, stop crying. Stop wanna, crying. I don't want to hear your mouth. Mm -hmm. Stop crying. Mm -hmm. let, me give you, let me give you something to cry for. I'm going to give you something to cry for, boy. And that, and that Be was... a man. Stop crying. Now, mind you, the same age kids, but the, the boys are told, be a man. What? Be a man? He's four. <laughs> but the girls don't get told, be a woman, woman up. We're, we're told, we're asked, rather, what's wrong? So, men are not socialized to emote because that message that they're told at four and five and six doesn't change. And so when in the world do they ever get permission to actually say what was wrong? Here, here's the thing, the wording, <laughs> we weren't taught. We were told not to. And just imagine a little mm. boy being told not to. It's like a consequence. It's like a punishment. And so, mm -hmm. reason number one, we were, I like to use the word bread. You know, we were just in a, in a society, in a system, even back then. And, and I hope today that you're not telling your boys to stop crying, mm. to suck it up. I don't. I think we're in a little, a uh, little more progressive, progressive generation. kind of generation. So Some. I, I hope that's, I hope that's yeah. the case. But but we have been taught that. So now, if we were taught Some that, of Some of us are still back in the old school. Really? Stop crying. Yeah, I've seen it. You saw somebody do that at church. I see it. Did time. you stop him? No, I mind my business. No, I you should my say something. And I'm my, and I mind no, my business. Unless something. unless the child. <laughs> has a relationship with me. I would have said something. And then I'll say, what's wrong? But I have, you know, I have a smart mouth, honey. So I have said, he's not a man, he's a child. Yeah. Children cry. But, you know, it doesn't matter. And it's hard because I have, I have a son, so it is, I understand it's hard because you want to raise your boys to be men. Um, yeah, but men, are, it's okay if a man cries. That's the, right. See, that's the problem. We think that if we allow them to cry, they're not going to grow up to be men. They're going to grow up to be men. They're going to grow up to be men who can relate to their wives' pain because they were allowed to emote and feel. So then they can cover us emotionally. But you know what it is? I'm going to go deep. What? I think that they were projecting on to that child mm. or what they experience. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I definitely believe that so there's it's, a cycle. It's like, it's like a cycle. It's a cycle. So. It's clearly a cycle. And it's, so. it becomes generational. So we have, and Derek had to go through that. Okay. Derek went through that. So we have another Derek. We have little Derek, little D. And when little D, and little D is a crybaby. Okay. He's a little crybaby, but that's okay because he's going to learn how to express his emotions. And he has learned by our help how to express his emotions. So he will breathe through it. Take it like this. 
and then and then he'll he'll hold his face and be like, okay, right. okay, yeah. okay, because he has the propensity to really like weep. Right. Then there's nothing wrong with that, but I think he's realizing he's getting too old to yeah. just cry, cry. So then after he does all of that, he'll say, "I hurt my feelings," mm -hmm. or "I was scared," or. I felt disappointed or well, I'm confused. Why are you yelling at me? Because he gets yeah. confused when you're yelling. He's like, wait, wait, hold up. Yeah. So we have taught him how to use feeling words. Now, I wish to God that someone had taught that to Derek before we got married, because when I had emotions, he didn't know what to do with them. And see, that's the part that you all miss when you're raising these little boys and you tell them to stop having emotions or expressing their emotions is that when they become husbands, then they, they can't relate. And they're supposed to cover us emotionally as husbands. So, number one, we were taught mm -hmm. not to show our emotions. Um, number two, our past negative experiences. So we, we grow up, we were taught not to express ourselves. So we, we get older and we get a girlfriend. And the girlfriend, we like them because we wrote that note. In Philly, it's like, can you stand a chance? Yes I think that's no. so cute. I never heard that before. Can you stand a chance? In New York is, will you go with me? Yes or no. Yes or no. So we give, we the boy mm -hmm. is getting a, enough nerve. Mm. This is big for mm -hmm, us. This mm -hmm. is like huge. That's this, true. This is monumental. Because girls don't write those notes. They don't. They wait. Right. They wait. Right. They play. They play at the Ken and Barbie, and, and and Barbie's over here, and Ken has to come to Barbie. Will you marry me? And they're all ready in their dress. <laughs> they're all prepared. Mm -hmm. and, you know. So that's true. So we we write the note, and we wait for an answer. Uh -huh. And if the answer is no, then we feel what. Rejected. Rejected. Mm -hmm. We feel maybe inadequate. I'm not good enough. So then what does he do? He don't tell nobody. I don't remember. Well, there's only one time she wrote no. One out of a hundred. That you got a no? Yeah. Lies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember the no when she put no on the piece of paper. Oh, I dare not come home and tell my older brother. Mm-hmm. I dare not. What I dare do? not come home and tell Juju, Mike, Mike, and Amy, and my boys. I dare not come home and, and just say, "Hey, she said no," and I'm feeling a little checked. It. No, we suck it up and keep it moving. So we become these teenagers. And then we become we're going to prom, and then we're going to prom, and then we get rejected at the prom, and then that's my story. If you're watching, I was hurt. So <laughs> you know who you are. So we go on the prom. <laughs> And we get rejected, and then we we get enough nerve to start dating seriously, and and we move on with life. So we meet the person that we want to marry, and they say yes. But then there's going to come a time within marriage, the husband's going to ask the question, and if she says no, or have a semblance of saying no, mm -hmm. or any hint of rejection, he's going to go back to that. Yes, I do note. Yes or no note. He's going to go back to that situation that he was rejected at the prom. And so he'll go back and then he won't express how he feels. And so mm -hmm. it becomes another feeling, which is anger mm -hmm. or fear, fear or frustration. Mm -hmm. So so point number two is, is negative past experiences uh, is another reason why we have a hard time expressing ourselves. Yeah, and I remember that, I remember Derek telling me about those negative past experiences um, at both proms that he went to when he was in high school. Really, really significant to how I respond to him, which leads us to the third point, which is fear. A lot of times men do not say how they feel because of fear that their wives are going to perpetuate the same rejection right. or the same hurt that they came in with um, before they got married. Right, because we said you were, there won't be another female that's mm -hmm. gonna hurt me like it did when I was younger. Right. We right. make that kind of oath in our mm -hmm. head that you're not gonna hurt me like that person. Mm -hmm. So so, so fear becomes a byproduct of those experiences. And so here's the thing, ladies, um, if you're watching and you're a wife, they will test us. 
<laughs> they'll throw something out to see how we're going to respond. Just kind of like a turtle that sticks its head out the shell. And they'll test us with a little bit of a non-threatening emotion. And depending on how we respond, it dictates whether they're going to share more. Right. Right. So I didn't know that back in the day, but now I do. So as we got progressively closer in our marriage, I realized I had to adapt the poker face. You know what the poker face is, right? You just give them the look like I am listening and I'm actively listening and I'm supportive. And he could be telling you all kinds of manner of crazy and you're going to do the poker face because he's watching you to see how you're going to respond. Now, if you have a husband like my husband, he's a watcher. He was a detective. He knows how to watch body language. He can feel your heart rate. Yeah. <laughs> he gets all that, right? So I have to be on my game. Like I have to really like put it in there. And I have had to learn active listening. Like I've had to go like, okay, okay. Because if I do, if I, He's like, what, what? <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't even let my eye twitch. <laughs> right. um, you know, <laughs> do that again. You look real crazy. <laughs> I'm not even gonna edit that one. Just keep that on and let everybody see. I have to, if I, if I scratch my ear, what? Why are you scratching your ear? <laughs> what, what, you gonna tell me something? You can't hear me? Right, right. <laughs> I mean, like that back in the day, that's how it was. Like I can't I just have to sit like this. See, some of y'all don't know how to do that. Some of y'all don't know how to just sit and shit it up. Some of y'all gotta say something. You, you, you're just compelled to respond and to ask questions. And you, all he needs you to do is sit there and listen. And it doesn't mean you're gonna do that forever, okay? We're talking again in context right. of if he's gonna share something vulnerable that he's been building up courage to come right. and share. Right. So the question is now, you have the three points. How do you get your husband or how does a husband feel safe enough to even want to share his emotions? It's both have a responsibility. Uh, I think the husband at some point has to have a conversation and say to his wife, well, the reason why I don't express my emotions is because of this. Right. And husband, you got a cheat sheet right here. Uh -huh. That's, 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 that's mostly all men. Uh -huh. We weren't taught. We were told to shut up. We had to pass negative experience or fear. Uh -huh. And so if you're able to have a conversation with your wife, I think the first thing you should say is, look, I want to share some things with you why I don't express myself. I want to make sure it's safe. Uh -huh. Because when I did, this is what happened. Even you did some things. You shut uh -huh. it down. You said some uh -huh. things in the past that prevented me from, because you talk too much. Uh -huh. You know, you're trying to solve everything. Mm -hmm. You're trying to fix everything. Mm -hmm. And you don't give me a chance to even say anything That's about That's what Derek said to me. That he was, said that to me years no, ago. And I was... 1997. I, I, <laughs> and I did not know. Yeah. I know so, I was going to say I was 10 in 97. Yeah, you probably checking me out anyway. I wasn't even in your vicinity. You, you dreamt about me. You woke up and said, hey, who's that? <laughs> Can you stay focused? Okay, so... The, the, the part that we play, husband, is to be able to say, I don't feel safe, and these are the reasons why are you able to make me safe, make it safe. Yes. Okay. So I don't know why Derek has these glasses, because I was going to close up with, now that you know. Nope, not yet. Not that time. Okay. So, Sonia. He always got something, as you see this, this season. He's Sonya, always got stuff. Sonia represents. And I think he likes the element of surprise. Please don't knock that glass over. I got oh, this cover, honey. Nice Come on, chill. Just, just hurt. Slow down. I got this. That was too close to your hand. I got the this. edge. I got this. Did it, did it fall? Okay. Come Take, okay. Not this time. That's all that matters this time. <laughs> They got a little baby conflict right now. It matters this time, not yesterday. Right now, okay, it didn't okay, break. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, stay focused. Okay. Sonya represents females. Mm -hmm. I represent the males. Sonya did a good uh, explanation of why the process. So what we're going to do is open up your bottle of water. Mm -hmm. And when I say stop, you stop. So when we were born, mm -hmm. four, just a little and stop. A little bit more. Okay, so we were born, so we're gonna break this down in a practical sense. We both were born into this world where when we cry, someone picked us up. 
when we when we came into this world, nurse, doctor, um, someone else, don't cry. It's okay mm -hmm. for both male and female genders. Mm -hmm. So we then get to about the age of five years old for females. You mm -hmm. go first. Mm -hmm. She's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, stop. Throughout that time frame, 18 years, she was always told, it's okay to share your emotions. Mm -hmm. What happened? Sit on the bed, let me talk to you for a minute. What did he do? You know, women were, females were given permission to talk and to share their emotions. Mm -hmm. Boys. Five years old, six years old, and then we were told to shut up. See how close you're, oh my gosh. We were told to, <laughs> so when we were told, stop talking, oh. shut up. Keep your mouth shut. I'm 14, 15, 16, oh. 17, 18 years old. Oh. So now we, grew up with a different kind of flavor. Huh? This is a different kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. We look very different now. We look very different now. The glass so is we very meet. different. Slide it over. Mm -hmm. Slide it over. No, that way. So we meet. Mm -hmm. We get married. Mm -hmm. Pour some in there. So we get married. And most times, the, the female still is able to share a little bit more. Still is able to share mm -hmm. how she feels. How do you feel about the wedding? I'm so, how do you feel about the wedding? I'm excited. Oh, I'm stressed. I'm nervous. I'm anxious. Um, oh, I'm thrilled. Okay. And so we decided to get married men. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now put that to the side. Put your glass to the side. Mm -hmm. So now we're married. Guess what that looks like? Mm -hmm. Our emotions all mixed up. All in mixed there. up in there. Mm -hmm. And so the question is, how do we then find a way to communicate things from our heart? How do we communicate things that are difficult and challenging? Because the two became one, which means our emotions became one. And we have to be able to what trust mm -hmm. we have to be able to forgive we have to be able to allow the person to go back and share the most vulnerable points in their lives both male and female and talk about how they felt you know most most clients that we see you know the story they know the story of their lives but they very seldom know how they felt about those experiences. And if you can go back with your spouse and sit down and have that conversation. Well, I remember you told me when you were bullied growing up. Tell me about that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and husbands, share that experience and say how you felt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was bullied and I felt, I felt uh, insecure. I felt inadequate. I felt... Um, Unloved. Unloved. And then watch what the wife does. Mm. Mm -hmm. Watch what the wife does. Mm -hmm. Because if you're, share, if, if you're acting out in anger and you're cursing and you walk away, you want to go drink, you want to go smoke, you want to do your thing, the porn, all that other stuff, get another. Those are all pinned up emotions that you never share with anyone else. Right. But guess what God did? God said, I'm going to give you a helpmate. Mm. To help you with those emotions, those emotions. Mm -hmm. That's I, that's what we believe. I believe that. You know, I believe that because we are socially, mentally, and physiologically equipped emotionally. We have the emotional hormones that are more than men. You know, we have the spiritual enmity to help us help you. You know, yeah. we've socialized to be able to emote, and God knew that years ago when He made man and woman. He knew that men would come in 2018 mm -hmm. with challenges. Well, he knew it. We got, we got a few minutes. He knew it because he said it. Yeah, he did. God said, don't touch that tree over there. But when you do, 
you're going to surely die. And that death meant separation from him. Mm -hmm. That death meant separation from your wife. That death meant that you're going to do some crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. You're going to do some behaviors that's going to cause you to have some pain and some hurt. Someone's going to, and I'm talking about the, the, the men, mm -hmm. someone's going to inflict some type of pain on you and you won't be able to express it how you were supposed to express it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you someone that's going to help you express it and feel safe. And the challenging thing is, is that when women come and if they come with some damage, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then it's going to make it even more challenging. Because mm -hmm. now you have two emotionally damaged people. So you you know the wife may the, the the wife may have been damaged through other things and so her emotions need to be addressed, and the husband doesn't know how to address those emotions because he never was taught. Mm. So then you have the blind leading the blind. Mm -hmm. You have two people who are have been emotionally uh, what's the word dissident, mm -hmm. you know, uh, unable to express emotions, and when that happens, it becomes challenging to help for her to help him. Or for him to see her pain. Because he can see the pain. He probably knows the story of the wife. Mm -hmm. She's been abused in, in past relationships and domestic violence. And she's hurting. And he probably knows the story. But he does not know how to respond to that. Mm -hmm. Because no one ever taught him how to respond to his emotions. Mm -hmm. And so that situation right there requires uh, some additional support. Because she needs to empty her cup to start all over. And he needs to empty his cup to start all over. So. Mm, well said. Good demonstration. You want some of that? What is that? Don't worry about it. I don't know. I don't know. What, what's that word stuff? It's, it's emotions. Mm. It is. It's, it's emotions. Okay. Well, you drink on. I'm going to drink on. Drink on. So, so, husbands, we are equipped to respond to your emotions, not your behavior. Okay? So, tell us how you feel. I promise you, try it. Go on our app, the Marriage Menders app, Google Play or the Apple Store, and download the app. We have a whole bunch of feelings on there. Pick one. Choose one. Tell your wife that's how you feel and watch the difference. Unless she's been tr straight up emotionally compromised or damaged, you know, in a, in a real bad way, you're going to see a difference. The minute Derek tells me uh, he feels overwhelmed <laughs> or he feels anxious or he feels uh, afraid, it, it changes everything. We just, we, we're designed to help you with that. It's, it's, it's like a magnet. We're just drawn to it. So, yeah. you know, that's really our experience. So we gave you at the beginning of this vlog, you of course, you would have seen the actual example. That was a real uh -huh. example of sharing uh, my emotions. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. that's just a point of reference. Yeah. So now that you know why... Uh -huh. Men don't express their emotions. Now that you know men, now that you know wives, what, what you're you going to do with it. it. Well, thank you for watching. Until thank next you for time, watching. take good care of yourselves. And men, emote. Emote. And thank you and subscribe to our channel. Yes. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.